Hi math friends, we're going to check out our study guide here together. So we start with our percentages and here we're looking at calculating a tip. So simply put, if your bill is this much, 81.32, we want a 21% tip. I'm going to take 81.32, multiply it by 20%. Remember I got to take 20, move the decimal twice to the left. So I actually have 0.20 or 20 hundredths. Okay, I'm going to type that into my calculator. Multiply. And I get 16,264. But I have to remember this is money, so 1626 is what we'll round it to. Now this also is another part. It says calculate a 15% tip. So I'm going to move my decimal twice to the left. So 81.32 times 0.15. 8132 same as 0.15. I get 12.198. Now I gotta round this 12. And when I round it to the pennies, 19 and 8 comes next. So it rounds up to 20 cents. A little tricky, but we need to remember how to do that. Same way for the next one. 25034. 20%. Same way. So 250, 34, 20%, I get $50.068. So I need to round to pennies. So this is $50.07. Let's check out the 15% tip. I'm going to do the same thing, but times 15% or 15 hundredths. And I get 37 0.551, so that's $37.55. Alright, now we're going to check out our, when we calculate a sales percentage. So a markdown, a Squishmallow is normally $24.99 and marked down to $18.49. What percent off is the sale price? We're going to round our final answer to the near center. Remember this is the final, final, final. We're not going to round in between. So we need to take our our savings. We take our original price minus the sale divided by the original. All right. So on here, you know, we say show the work and let the calculator do the work here. I got six dollars and fifty cents divided by twenty four ninety nine. And I got 0 0.260104. Now, I want to run when I'm all the way done. So I'm going to move this decimal twice to the right. So I got 26.0104. Rounding to the hundredths, I got 26.01%. All right, same thing for this car. I'm going to take my original. Remember, this is a comma. I don't need to type that into the calculator. 375, divide by that. So I get 11,500 divided by the original. And I get 0 0.230564. Now I'm going to move that decimal twice to the right to make a percent. So 1, 2, 23.05764. Round to the hundredths though. 7 is going to make the 5 round up. So 23.06%. Um, next part here is a circle. So a part of a circle is a percentage greater than the other. Calculate the circumference. Circle A is a diameter of 10 meters. Circle B is a diameter 25% greater. What is circle B's circumference? Okay, so 10% 
times 0.25. So it's 2.5 greater, so 10 plus 2.5. 12.5 is the diameter of circle B. Now I also need to remember circumference is pi times diameter. We're going to use 3.14 for pi times the diameter. And we end up with 39.25 or 39 and a quarter. And this is measured in meters, so that's meters. All right. Let's check out the next part. Calculate the missing parts of the simple interest in the table below. Remember that simple interest is I interest earned equals principal times rate times time. Now in this table, it's backwards. Principal, rate, time, I. Right? So we're multiplying each of these to get I. So we flip this equation around. This is really PRT equals I. But that's okay. We can do that. So this first one, we're missing I. So we're going to go ahead and do 500 times, remember the rate, we got to change that into a decimal. So I got $90 earned here. Over here, remember to change this into a decimal. And here we start with the interest. So what I want to do is I want to do the interest divided by each of these. Divide by 400, divide by 0 0.06, and we'll get the number of years. Okay, so I get two years. The same with these. I want to do 450, divide by 3, divide by 1200. Since we're dividing, we can, as long as we make sure to divide, we can do divide by 1200, divide by 3, or divide by 3, divide by 1200. We're dividing by the same amounts anyway. So the order doesn't matter there. I got 0 0.125. Now remember here we're getting the percent, so we move it twice to the right to get 12.5%. Please check that out for yourself, all right? Last one, same idea, 960, divide by the other parts that we have. Divide by 4, divide by 0 0.08. That means that we started with $3,000. Right, let's check out the commission. Remember, a commission is a uh, percent that you earn based on what you sell. So if I sold some, sold this car here for $43,000, I would earn this much money. Now, before I do this, 8.5, 2 to the left, fill in that gap with a 0. I've got to do 43,000 times 0 0.085. And I get... $3,655. Okay, try the same here. I get $2,426.70. Remember, if we have to do rounding, we want to make sure that we round to the pennies because we're dealing with money. All right, 74091 times 0.085. So this one, this is a good example. This is 6,297 point, and this is, I'm going to write this on the side here, this is 0.735. So I want to round to pennies. This is going to round to 74 cents. Alright, next one. Yeah, notice how it's a lot of repetition here. Alright, this one's another example of that 1,699 point, and then the pennies on this are 915. So really, that 5 is going to round that up to 92 cents. Alright, let's check out this, le this next one. Same idea. And this one actually works out just fine. There's no rounding here. 
Last one, sold a more expensive car, $83,000. Alright, so this is $7,088, and this one also has a .915 at the end. So that's going to round to $0.92 cents again. There we go. Alright, let's check out this next one. In North Carolina, the state sales tax is 4.75%. If you purchase a TV priced at $349.99, what is the total cost? So, think realistically with sales tax, right? You go to buy something it's going to end up being more than that because of the tax. But I would guess that this would be below, um, you know, below $400 total. So first, let's take our percent, 4.75. Move that decimal twice to the left, fill in the gap with a zero. So I got to find my tax. I take my price on the shelf times 0.0475. Okay, so let's work that out to find out what just the tax is on this. So the tax on this is 16.624525. Now, we're going to round at the end. So I need to add that to get my total cost. So 349.99 plus that. and I get 366.6145. Now rounding to the pennies, that four is gonna keep that at one. So my total cost, 366 and 61 cents. All right, just another good example of rounding at the end. All right, so last one here talks about monthly pay. So Angel earns $4,520 each month. But 23% of that is taken out for state and federal taxes and other deductions here. How much is his take-home pay after the taxes? So I got to take his pay, multiply it by the percent. They're going to take out 0.23 or 23%. This is typical of a paycheck too. So he's going to have 1000 $41.44 deducted each month. So this is the exact number too. This was not rounded. So what's his take home pay after the taxes? So if that's taken out, think about what that means. We're going to subtract that. So after all that, he get, he takes home 3,486.56. So important to know because when you're planning on things in life, we got to know not just this price, this amount. I need to know after all the deductions, what are we actually taking home in our pay? All right. So hopefully this helps you out. Give it a shot and you should be all right here. You work hard. Take care.